If you like to play in tournaments, you know that they have prizes for first through sixth, maybe, depending on the size of the tournament. But they also have prizes, usually for the first hand in every category on the card. So I like to practice winning those prizes because a lot of times I don't place. There's some really good players who go to those tournaments, better than me. So I try to go for those other prizes, the ones where you have to play for a hand in a category. I've done pretty well winning those, sometimes even equal to some of the placed prizes. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. One, three, five, seven, nine. Odds. Evens. Big surprise. Singles and pairs. Consecutive run. Wins and dragons. Three, six, nine. Okay, those are the categories with prizes up for grabs. We'll say we're the dealer for these. I'm going to get 28 random tiles. Okay, let's see what we have. Multiples, we have a pair of flowers, four, five, one, six, four, eight. I think we should play a two, four, six, eight for sure. It's right there, two, four, six, eight. Let's put those over there, these down here, and pull up our two, four, six, eight. Okay, here's all the two, four, six, eight. We even have the full two, four, six, eight right here. We have a pair there. I'm kind of thinking the first two, four, six, eight hand right here, or we could do two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. That would leave a pair out. The other one I was thinking is we have, we have one, five, nine, five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine. Here's five, seven, one. Let's see. I definitely think two, four, six, eight. And then here, one, three, five, seven, nine. One, three, five, seven, nine. One, five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine. Let's see, four, six, four, five, six. We do have a little four, five, six right there, but that would make have us throw all these away. I want to leverage the ones there. Let's see, one, three, five. Hmm. Let's see, we have, there's a big gap there, no three. Four, five, four, five. Maybe this could be joker bait, and we could do four, five, six. That's a lot of discards. Four, five, six Kong, consecutive run. I would really love to use those ones though. Odds one three five one three five with one three five. We'd have to use this for the missing three, which I really don't like to do. I don't like dedicating a joker this early. One three five with the dragon, the knitted one, the fourth one down, or we could play the concealed one, which is probably better. Two flowers, that way we can leverage. Actually, we could use these up here though. 
unless we do two, four, six, eight. That's only six tiles. Never mind. I don't like that. Let's see here. Two, four, six, eight, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. I think that for sure needs to be there. Okay, then down here, five, six. We would have to use the flowers. I don't want to do that. One, three, five, seven, nine. One, three, five, seven, nine. There's a little possibility there for that one, the third, a second from the bottom. We could do maybe five, seven, five, seven, nine. Joker bait, odds. There are gaps here. I would want to keep them all and leverage the ones somehow. So I would just keep all of them. Maybe one, three, three, five, if we can get the three crack and the three dot, there's a lot of if there. But I think evens and odds. And we do have joker bait right here, joker bait. Hmm. That would be a push, a true force. <laughs> so I would call it for two, four, six, eight and odds. Two, four, six, eight and odds. These, I do not know whether or not a prize would go home with me on these two. Let's try the other ones. Okay, here we go. Look at all those cracks. We have singles and pairs. We have one joker here. Consecutive run. Winds and dragons and three, six, nine. We do have lots of winds and dragons. What about if we played the dragon hand with winds? Okay, let's just make sure we have the tiles here. Yes. Okay. News with dragons. News with dragons, no gaps. Then down here, one, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, three, five, seven. So we have a singles and pairs possibility. Let's see, do we have a singles and pairs? Three, four, yeah, we do actually. Hold on a second. Three through seven. One, two, three, four, five. We have a gap though, no five crack. I was thinking we could play the pair hand for singles and pairs, but we wouldn't be able to play that nice wind and dragon hand there. Let's see, three, six, nine. How about three, six, nine? That would leave eight discards, including some joker bait right there. Three, six, nine with threes, maybe. Three, six, nine. The three, six, nine with threes would be the third hand down. Three, six, nine with Kongs of threes. We do have five 
or six discards with Joker bait if we did Winds and Dragons and 369. I think the sequence was weak because we're missing a five. If we had a five crack, I might even consider that pair hand. But there's a, that gap is really weak. I think I would do this. Winds and Dragons, 369. Winds and Dragons, 369. If you would do something differently, write Force 2 and what you would do. We obviously need another Joker or Dragon in here, but that's one away from being ready. This one we would need to pair up. This could be Joker bait, or we could play the 369 with flowers. So there's flexibility there. And we have a little Joker bait, a little silver lining on a gray cloud with gaps down here. Well, actually there are no gaps. We're just a bit thin. All right, one more consecutive run and singles and pairs. Okay, so I think we can make this work. Singles and pairs. News. Four, five, six. News, four, five, six. I would do that. News, four, five, six. I would do that. Then down here, we could use these flowers for consecutive run. There are two hand, three hands. Concealed Pung Han. We have a seven, six, seven. Here's a multiple. We need to build around multiples to get the best result. That will go away. So we have a pair. Here's six and one. We could do one, two, one, two, Pung, Concealed Hand, last one, or we could do six, seven, six, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine. Joker bait. Flowers, six, six, seven, six. I would use these maybe. If I had to pick a hand, news four, five, six, first one under singles and pairs, six, seven, pung, concealed hand under consecutive run, flowers, pung, 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 pung. Obviously, we have a lot of work to do here, but we do have jokers and joker bait. I would hold all the six, seven, eight, nine, though, as long as possible for options. There is some mixed suit option in here with the dot. I mean, we would definitely need the six dot or we would need maybe the eight bam. We could do a mixed suit Kong hand. So I would hold these as long as possible, but I think six, seven Pung concealed hand might work with these. Those would definitely be the discards, joker bait. So I think this pair hand might even be a winner. Singles and pairs in consecutive run. If you would have done something differently with these, write force three and what you would have done. A few of these were a little hard, which is why I like to practice. When you practice, you can really find your footing in. It kind of desensitizes you from the anxiety of it all. And when you're in the tournament, there's a little anxiety, for me anyway. I don't know about you. But practice makes perfect, as the saying goes.
If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to maybe learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Siamese Force for National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.